It's it's basically because um, uh, like uh, the Indians, they basically, uh, as far as I can tell, they believe that they have to work with the world. The world will not work with them. That's what I. That's what I believe. They they basically, and they also have this uh, uh, this uh, mindset that the client. They say that client is like they give them the highest, you know, uh, like uh, they they have tremendous respect for clients. Whereas uh, sometimes my, uh, some of the people th that I have worked with uh, in uh, during my during freelancing is that they kind of like uh, don't respect the client enough. They they basically treat the client as a as a person as just a transaction. They don't really care about whether the the solution is good or not. They try to take shortcuts, and whereas Indians, they they give they give like massive respect to their clients, and they uh, I'm not use that word, but they actually call their clients something. I'm not going to use that over here. But, okay. But they give a very high like uh, uh, like uh, on a very high pedestal to their clients. Yeah, but uh, we were uh, here. We were discussing more about communication only. So yeah. For for communication, yeah, so they the do medium, whatever. Yeah. So whatever the, they do, they'll do everything that 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 will. Uh, that will basically give the client a good experience. That is also communication is also part of that. So the medium is language. English, if yeah. we have to, if we have to go with the world, we do not. We better do not talk. Uh, if, tell me if I'm wrong. We better do not talk about uh, regressive things, about uh, traditions, about uh, conventions, things like that. I uh, saw so language. We should be proud. No, we should. We like you said that. The world, we have to go with the world. The world will not go with us. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Altamesh, for a very uh, interesting presentation. We learned so much new things about how to uh, start freelancing and what are the issues we need to handle as a, uh, to become a successful f a freelancer. Uh, I would talk about uh, the general attitude or perception or societal approach uh, towards uh, the freelancing. You know, uh, the question, in, if you talk about our society, the major question is not about those who have actually already started freelancing and how they are progressing. Definitely, uh, they need our support and the guidelines from all those uh, people like you who have succeeded in the field. If you talk about the general uh, attitude, uh, many of us, even, uh, there are, uh, everybody has a friends. I do have very, uh, some friends who always talk about starting freelancing. They would be talking about, let's start freelancing. We have skills, we are accountants, we can do this thing, that thing. We should start freelancing instead of uh, having a nine to five job, uh, even late, late sitting. So something do something for ourselves. But if you met, me, um, meet them five months later, they again say the same thing. We should start uh, freelancing, do th these things, those things. But uh, they do not start. So the first thing is, we, what's, what's the issue, what uh, you would say, what would be your advice? Why we think about all the innovations, or, uh, the change which, come, which, coming, which is coming in the world, but we do not start uh, freelancing? I don't know what's the, it may be the behavioral issue or what we, we uh, there may be the issue that we think that we can't do these things. If you meet 100 people, they think about starting freelancing. Out of 100, 30 to 35 actually start freelancing. And uh, as a, this is also, I think, our behavioral issue, whenever we start anything, we think that we should, from the next day we should earn, we should have a, a client, a project. And out of 30 to 35 people, just 5 to 10 succeed and rest don't. As you said, it requires around 5 to 6 months even for people like you to make initial $100. So how, what would be your advice for those who think, think to start freelancing but they don't? And for those who have started, uh, have to uh, go in, to follow which way, at least uh, with the patience, they will be, uh, should continue and progress in their field. Uh, I'm actually, I believe the question is that uh, what should drive them to, uh, to like, uh, that's what the question is that if somebody wants to start freelancing, yeah. I'll ask them why do you want to start freelancing. Based on their answer, I'll be able to basically... Uh, tell them whether they should or what they should do. But generally speaking, I have uh, spoken about what you need to do before freelancing. 
uh, before thinking about freelancing and uh, your question seems to be about your friends that I do not know about. So I can't really tell what is stopping them from starting, but what I can assume is, is that they have nobody to guide them. That's what I can assume, or nobody who can tell them that, okay, however, it's a process. You're not going to start earning immediately. Uh, this is the process, let's work on this first, let's work on, let's work on the things, uh, let's work on uh, what service uh, uh, what services are in demand and after that let's take a look probably freelancing is not for us we should go with an open mind we take a look at things we figure out that this is not for us we should stick to our jobs uh, you have to take a look at these things first because even though I am a freelancer it I'll be honest it hasn't stopped me from from the idea of probably working for a company at some time it's not that I'm like I'm a freelancer right now but I still, when if, if I see a job opportunity, I do apply just because I keep an open mind. So if you want to start freelancing, there is a chance that you find out that freelancing is not for you. You, you will have to continue doing, uh, doing your work that you're doing right now. Since I do not know your friends, I cannot sp like be very specific. Mike. Sir, sir, please, Mike. Basically, I was asking, uh, telling about the general perception of our society. All if right. you would ask uh, anybody in this room, all everyone would have the same kind of story. All everyone has friends. They think to uh, go for freelancing, but they don't. Okay, so how many of you would like to be freelancers? If I tell you that uh, sometimes you have to work more than nine to five, sometimes you have to work maybe sixteen, seventeen hours a day, develop extremely bad health problems and give up your social life for the next three years. Yeah. So, uh, the, the see, two people already said no. So that's the thing, that, 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 is, that is how I can, yeah, no. But uh, you see, uh, when I started freelancing, now I'm not, I, I didn't look, I, I, for six months, I didn't take a look at the sun for six months at one time because I used to work during US timings. I didn't go out in the sun for six months. That's true. That's a sacrifice you have to make. I don't recommend starting freelancing unless you're very hungry, you want to be a millionaire, a billionaire, you just love, love earning and providing solutions. First, you love providing solutions to a number of different people. Like you don't want to work for one person, you want to work for many, many people and provide good solutions and enjoy the feeling of your bank account numbers rolling when the money comes in. That, that, that is what you should enjoy. Uh, alaikum, sir. One thing, sir, you mentioned that, uh, first of all, I want to ask that, why do you want to start means freelancing? So most of the people, uh, the answer is that they want to do it like as a profession for their earning. All right. So in this context, then, what are your views, sir? Profession for earning? Yes, means... Uh, you mean uh, like being self-employed? Yes, sir. Uh, no, the, uh, like uh, if, if your sole reason is to be self-employed, then you also have to be ready to, well, you have to first of all ask yourself if you want to be self-employed, why do you, like you can employ yourself, but will you be providing the solution that people actually need? So if you are, a, for example, a content writer, you have to ask yourself whether people actually need the content that you can provide. So you, uh, what I would say is that you, you should think about starting your own business, which is basically free, free, when you're a freelancer, you are a business owner, essentially. Um, you have to ask yourself, if you, do, do you want to become a freelancer just because you want to be self-employed? If that is, that is, that is independent, yes. Yeah, if that is, that, is, that is the answer that you give to yourself, then I don't suggest you start freelancing. That is not a good enough reason. The best reason is that people want the solution that you provide and you can get a significant amount of money for that. That, is, that should be the main reason, not just self-employed. You can be self-employed, I, I don't know, selling burgers. I mean, that's self-employed. <laughs> If you share, sir, if you don't mind, if you share your current earnings, so that may... 3,000 uh, on a bad yeah. bad month, uh, 10,000 on, uh, on a good month. Thanks. Thank you, sir, for uh, the lecture. Uh, I just wanted to ask, wouldn't it be better uh, that the money just remains in the Payoneer account? So yeah. That the, so that it, it remains in dollars and... 
Does you remember the wire wire card issue that happened on Pioneer where every every money um, the money froze? No. Have have money in multiple accounts. That's my advice. When the wi wire card when a, a wire card the fraud the two billion dollar fraud.